the next set of dilutions that you will be required to do in the lab is a serial dilution. So in a serial dilution, all the solutions that you make up have the same dilution factor. Now that is different from a dilution series, where in a dilution series, the different dilutions that you make up have different dilution factors. So that is something important to bear in mind. Now, I am going to show as an example, I'm going to make up a series of one in three dilutions. So that means when I'm finished making, um, doing my serial dilution, all my test tubes, except for the first one, which has the stock solution, is going to have um, a dil each of these test tubes will have a dilution factor of three, since we're doing one in three serial dilutions. So the first thing, of course, to do is to add water to your test tubes. Here, um, I added two mils of water to each of the test tubes. And then the idea here is that first I'm going to take a mil of my stock solution, mix it into two mils of the first test tube. Then I transfer, I take out a mil and put it into the next test tube I mix. And I do the same thing, taking a mill from the last test tube, putting it into this one. And I continue doing this until I have done one in three dilutions in every single step. So that is how you would do a one in three or a threefold serial dilution. So this is how I will do this. So I already have my water in my test tubes. So the only thing I need now is to add my one mill of stock dye, this is blue dye, and I'm going to make sure I mix it by pipetting up and down, so I mix it thoroughly. And I'm going to transfer The solution, I made one mil of the solution into the next test tube containing water. Again, I mix thoroughly. And then again, I'm going to take one mil of this solution, add it to two mils of water in the next test tube. So as you notice, as I continue, my stock dye is becoming more and more diluted. And I'll continue this process of serial dilution until I get to the last test tube. So in order to keep all the volumes equal, I'll just discard one mil of my last solution. And then when you look at all of them, when you compare all the solutions together, you will notice from left to right trying to hold all of them together, that the solution gets, the, the dye solute gets less concentrated. This is the stock dye, and this is the most concentrated um, dye. So each of these solutions has a dilution factor of three. If you wanted to 
determine the final dilution factor of this last solution, you'd have to multiply 3 by 3 by 3 by 3 by 3. So you will multiply in 3 by itself 5 times, and that would give you the, give final, you the final dilution factor, dilution factor of, this, of solution. this solution. So making serial so dilutions, serial dilutions are, important, are important, for example, for example in medicine when, in they, medicine want when they want to determine a, a correct a amount correct of amount dose of a medication, of a medication, to, medication to, a patient, to give to a patient. If you're not sure exactly, you're not sure of, the, exactly the of the dose that will, work for, that patient, will work for a patient, you can do a series, can of, do a dilutions series of dilutions to determine what, to dose, determine is what dose is best suited best that will probably that will manage the patient's complaints or the patient's illness. So that is how so basically, that is how basically you do dilutions, you do in, the dilutions in the lab.